Well, another week, another Wacky Wednesday thrift video. I just got the Salvation Army 50% off today. It is currently 9.40, they opened at 9 a.m. Last week we did come a little bit later, we came around 1 p.m. We did find a few nice things. I'm hoping we find some nice things today. We are gonna hit up a few thrift stores today, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and let's get today started, guys. So unfortunately what I'm realizing is that basically it's the same stuff that's been sitting last week. There's not much new stuff. I don't know if they just haven't got shipments or they just haven't put it out, but a lot of the stuff, it's kind of empty and it's a lot of the same stuff as well, the stuff that I showed you guys last week. So far I did find like, I'm gonna try this on. Uh, I've always wanted to get like a nice flannel to kind of stack like a normal shirt. This is quilted, it's only $3.49 half off, so it'll be like $2 basically. And then I found like these camo shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna get them though. Size 32. So today's definitely dry, but look at this button down just found super sick with like the girls all over the cards. It's like almost like if you're going to Vegas. Pretty sick. Damn, I love this button down. Unfortunately, it's an XL because I wanted it for personal. So I'm gonna try it on and see how it drapes, but I love this uh, design on it. Damn, sadly it's too big. Even the arms like goes down to my elbows. But this thing is so hard. I do like this flannel though. I think this would go perfect with like a light blue wash jeans. The ones that I actually just recently bought. So I think I am gonna pick this up. It's supposed to get cold this weekend too. So maybe I can rock this out uh, this weekend. And I like how it has like that little uh, just quilted inline. This shirt is so sick. It fits me good too, but in case if I don't decide to keep it, I think someone else would want to buy this instantly either way. It's just, who doesn't love cards with girls and it's black, it's just super sick. Nice little button down. So as I was leaving, I just found these 6Y uh, blue suede fives. They weren't $50 though. Um, if they weren't 50, I'd probably get them. And if they were men's size, I'd probably get them. But the fact that they're kids for 50 bucks, is just too expensive for me. Same with these, these Jordan 1s. Uh, I don't even know if these are authentic. They don't have insoles at all. They're a size 9.5 they say though. Uh, I'm not exactly sure though. Look at these Coach boots, $100 too. Another pair of Nikes for $40. I guess these are like the designer. We have the Vans, brand new for $40. Some Adidas. What are those? M Madison heels, I have no idea. Look at these yellow dress shoes. These things are crazy, they have some green ones also. Those things are insane. Steve Madden, all right, I guess that's it for today. Unfortunately, we're only leaving with two items uh, that like Las Vegas button down and then the flannel that I'm like gonna wear, the blue jeans. Uh, but don't worry, we're gonna hit up other thrift stores, you know, like I said, it's always a hit or miss. It's always a gamble whenever we come to Salvation or when we come to any thrift store in general. So let's head off to the next thrift store and let's hope we get some better luck. Well, I finally made it over to the next thrift store. Now this thrift store last week, we did find those Jordans as well as those Golden Gooses. So I'm hoping we find some good stuff or some stuff that, you know, because that I made some money on. The Gooses, I definitely made money. The Jordans, I definitely made money. But uh, let's hope and see. I mean, last time or last week, like I said, I walked in around 2 p.m. at this store. Now it's like 10 a.m. So we'll see if early bird gets a worm this time. Let's see if there's a big line too. Nope, no line this time. Some boost. I don't know what size they are. It seems like they're women's. I think somebody just came and got some stuff. Hybrids. Adidas. Look at this. Nothing good. Seems like a lot of people already got the sneakers. Sadly. Uh, well, I think I got here a little too late because I saw like a bunch of people with like North Face stuff, a bunch of sneakers, so I definitely slept. And that's probably why I did find stuff so late last week at 2 p.m. is just because obviously the early birds get here, get the worm, and then I get the stuff that's been put out, uh, you know, just kind of throughout the day. But I'm still going through the jackets, you know, if you don't look, you don't know. There's a baby foam posit, seems like right here. Uh, how much are they though? Doesn't even say how much these are. I have no idea. What size are they too? 
Size 2Y. Maybe I'll get these. I'm a, oh, security tag just came off. Whoops. Yeah, I have no idea how much these are though. Damn, I've never seen this before. I always come up on these mountain shirts, but I've never seen a mountain hoodie. Um, I don't know what year this is from. It could either be from 95, it can be from 2013, but this hoodie's insane. Is it a paper tag? It is a paper tag. $5 brand new. I think I might cop this, even for the personal. I really like the wash on this. Super sick with like the owls all over. Well, as I say that, you see another one. This one has a moose on it. And this one has a printed tag, so this one's gonna be a newer one. But I like the owl one better, to be honest. Even though the moose, it does have like that nice blue, but I, don't know, I think I'm probably gonna leave this one too. Okay, now it just seems like everyone dropped off. Cause look, another mountain. This one has the tag. I like this one though, the wolves. It is a little bit smaller. I don't know if I'm gonna grab this one though. So far I like the first one with the owls for my personal. Or I just think it looks the best also. Look at this, it must be like vintage JCPenney brand. See the JCPenney tag, but this thing is so sick. It almost looks like a tablecloth, but I really like it. I don't think I would ever wear it for personal, but I think it's pretty fire. I have a armful of stuff that I'm about to show you guys, but there's a lot of people kind of fighting for getting the new stuff that's coming out. So I'm kind of just showing you guys. I'll look a Corona button up. I'm just kind of show you guys button down shirts and then I'll show you guys uh, what I got. So I don't know if I'm gonna cop this jacket. It's a little expensive, $13. I've never heard of it though, Sunrise Kingdom. This Sherpa inside is super soft. Usually the Sherpa is like not that soft, but this is a very nice Sherpa uh, little like denim jacket. I'm gonna look up the brand, but I'm not exactly sure. This one is a crazy find. So if you guys don't know, Paul Smith is a very expensive brand, um, almost like a designer in a way, but this is like a Paul Smith windbreaker. These could probably go for hundreds of dollars, but I'll probably get maybe 50 bucks or so for it. Uh, I did find this corduroy zip up little like jacket, only $2. I'm gonna try it on, see how it is. Uh, it is size XL, so it's gonna be like a little overfit boxy fit, but I figured eh, corduroy's kind of in, and I already showed you guys the foam posits and this hoodie. Look how sick this vintage like baby stroller is. Look at the hardware on it and everything. This thing is insane. Putting out new stuff now, but it doesn't look like anything's good. And I've noticed people kind of just wait around and uh, snipe the new stuff, like this guy standing there. But look at that thing, crazy. Well, oh my god, I am looking like a mess. We just left that thrift store with that. Uh, I ended up getting the foam posits that were like baby size. I left the hoodie for myself. I left the corduroy jacket for myself just because I, you know, I can't be sitting here buying a bunch of stuff for myself, especially warm weather stuff or like cold weather stuff just because it's hot in Miami like we don't we don't wear that down here so I had to control myself and not buy hoodies or jackets that I unnecessarily need um, but hey we did get some nice things and let's head to the next store vintage Tommy Hilfiger with the flag shoes they want $13 they're a size 10 and a half not too bad I remember I used to find these all the time with the big flags pretty sick Super sick Steelers, six time champion jacket. All over. They want 20 bucks though. Chinese New Year's, or like Year of the Dragon Ultra Boost. Air Force One highs. Beatles. Sea flights. Zara. These are crazy. This is pretty sick. Nike NSW, like uh, fleece shorts are super soft, like very, very soft materials. For $12, it's not bad at all. Just seeing what shorts they have right now. These almost look like Carhartt shorts. These are kind of sick. What brand is this? Oh, this is Ralph Lauren Polo. Why would they cut these? These pants were probably amazing, but they cut them. They're look, Polo Ralph Lauren. These are probably super heavy duty. I don't know why they would ruin pants like that. Found these pretty sick Zara jeans. They want $20 though. It's kind of expensive. If they were like 10 or maybe even 15, they have nice rips. Last time we were here, we found those Burberry jeans for like 20 or 25. So the fact that 
Zara is 20. Oh look, these are the same Dolce Gabbana jeans that I tried on last time. Still sitting here for, uh, how much do they want again? I think 50, right? Yeah, $50. Oh look, a pair of Paige denim. You guys know I used to be obsessed with Paige, like one of the softest jeans ever. And then we went $22, not bad. These retail for like $250. Old school polo Ralph Lauren with corduroy, 25 bucks now. No flag or anything on the back. Brand new Forever 21 Bomber. Original price was 40, they want uh, 18. And I did see this leather jacket, San Diego Chargers, for 40 Levi's denim jacket for $20, size large. Just came across this uh, guest collab with J Balvin. It says it's size extra small, but to be honest it fits oversized like a medium. Nice little striped shirt. So this is a reprint, but yo, if they would have continued this all over print to the back, like with the lightning and like done a back graphic, this shirt would be so hard. Like the front is already so hard. Like imagine wearing this with a jacket. That's so sick. It's only 10 bucks too. Obviously it's a reprint, but like I said, if they would have continued it, that would have been so hard. I think these are LeBron 8s. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how much they want either though. No, these aren't the eights, maybe sevens? I have no idea what bra what model this is. Other than that, nothing else good. Well, we just left. I got the Burberry shirt as well as the what is it? MLK shirt, I think. I forgot who I got. I got like a black history style shirt. But what I've realized, and I hope you guys can hear me because I'm filming on my iPhone, uh, my camera died. But what I've realized is that people basically sit here the whole entire day and just kind of like snipe or wait for new stuff because literally this kid, he works at one of the vintage stores down the street. Every single time t-shirts came up, he would like, the girl would go through it and he'd be like, oh, I want that, I want that. And she literally like walks with him and he, like, unless if I push him out of the way, there's no way that I can get that from him. So basically, he's getting all the vintage shirts off rip just because he knows that girl and whatnot. So it seems like that's what you gotta do with these stores is you kinda just have to uh, wait all day and like wait for new stuff to come up and snipe. But uh, I don't know, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and see if I can try to get in some stuff. Cause he's like, oh, I come here every day. So it's like, I don't really feel like fighting with people for vintage shirts all day, you know? And half of the time, people don't even know what it is like he'll just see like oh it's a vintage shirt and he'll just like put it in the cart probably not even realizing if it has value or not he'll probably look it up later on but I don't know I just realized like literally I sat there for probably an hour two hours just literally every new rack he, the t-shirts would come he would walk with the girl and then she would give it to him she wasn't getting much jackets so I could kind of like see what I can get for the jackets but I didn't really find anything good the only thing I found was that Burberry and then the Black History Month shirt so yeah kind of dry but at least we did get that Burberry shirt we really can't go wrong with that that was a good deal and uh let's head to the next one so I just got to a thrift store and they're doing 75% off so these are five dollars 75% off so I figured they're like a dollar 25 and then we did find this I might leave it just because it has some stains uh, all throughout but we have Hilfiger Athletics little like uh, workout athletic tank top well I just made it back home and I quickly was editing today's video one, I didn't even show you guys the Burberry shirt or like anything that I copped at that last thrift store. So let me quickly show you. It was the Burberry Brit 100% authentic size large in the Nova check. It is a long sleeve. I've found these multiple times, but this one is 100% authentic. Uh, we found bootleg ones, we found non authentic ones, but I'm getting pretty good to the point where I can authenticate these. So we do have an authentic size large. And then we have this uh, made on a USA tag. Uh, size large as well with the all over. I just like how it's like a nude colorway. Of course the dogs have to bark when I'm going over this. So unfortunately that does end today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. 
I am, like obviously I took off a couple days, I've been busy, but don't worry, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, I'm trying to stack up my videos so that way I can post every single day at 8 p.m. Also kind of going back on like how I said the kids kind of just sit at that thrift store and literally just pick off the new rack. I think I decided I'm gonna dedicate one entire day, I mean literally open to close, I'm gonna just literally sit there. I'm gonna bring a lunch, I'm gonna bring a water bottle, like I'm gonna bring everything. I'm literally just gonna sit there the entire day and do what they do. Just hang out, just sit in for the new rack. Okay, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. And if honestly, if obviously they have seniority, so that's why I didn't really wanna fight with them today, but I'm not gonna be taking everyone's leftovers that they just don't want, you know? Like that's just not how it's gonna work. So if I see something I like and he sees something that he like, yo, we're gonna rock, paper, scissor that because it's just, it's not fair for either of us to be sitting there wasting our time and one of us keeps getting all this stuff, you know, it's just how it is. Like I said, today was a little bit different because the seniority, I'm not going to just go in the first day and be like, yo, I want this, I want this, I want this. But tomorrow or that day that that does come that I literally spend the whole entire day, I'm not going to be letting people just do that. Like, it's just, it's just not going to happen. If not, then we are going to get into fights and then that'll be good content. Actually, today I didn't even record it, but... Um, I got in like into an altercation with an older gentleman like super old I'm talking like my dad's age old and um, This lady put out a flannel because the thing with this thrift store is you can't touch anything on the new racks You literally have to wait for the worker to drop it on the rack and then you can go and get it But like I said what she was doing with the guy with the t-shirts is like she would walk over to the rack She would put it and he would instantly grab it. So I didn't want to be that guy But this specific thing I was literally following her and the guy jumps in front of me and um I go to grab the flannel, he grabs the flannel. He's like, no, 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 no. Now, at this point, we don't know what brand it is. So we're literally fighting over nothing. I was like, nah, dude, like, let's go to security. Breaks the hanger in my hand, like trying to rip it out. I'm like, dude, I'm not letting go. Like, you can do whatever you want. Eventually lets me go. I look at it, it's like a Walmart brand. I literally just threw it back on. I was like, you could have waited two minutes. I just wanted to see what it was. So it seems like there is gonna be some controversy at this thrift store, but yo, drama and that that'll get views so if you guys want to see that make sure you comments down below i am I actually don't even i am going to be doing i am going to dedicate an entire day and try to snipe all the good stuff like they are doing so i'm going to quickly edit this video throw it up to you guys so you guys get it up at 8 p.m so i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video 8 p.m make sure you guys follow me at instagram at emc vlogs as well as ditr954 and i'll see you guys then